Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Now today we're going to go on an electric ferry. Now this is actually the first year-round electric ferry in the whole world and it's right behind me so let's get in line let's get on board. Now this is the point where they let you on to get on the ferry and have a look how long <laughs> the line is now. Now they said it's about three hours but I think it's all quite a bit less than this. There's a lot of people here in groups. A lot of people are kind of uh, spread out a fair way. Have a look at the view on the other side of the river. How beautiful is this? Nice blue skies today and nice views of the embankment of the Moscow River and we can see one of these electric ferries just pulling in. We're going to get a good look at it through the video of course but looks like a well looks very futuristic of course but I'm not sure how to describe it yet but it's very futuristic. Look at the line. There's people just relaxing by the park here and it goes all the way down somewhere here towards the end. It's very, uh, <laughs> very interesting. This is literally the second day since the launch. So I can understand why so many people wanted to come on this day versus other days. But uh, that's the boarding platform just down there on the right. Again, we'll get a good look at this a little bit more as we walk around. They've even got the volunteer ambulance service right here, helping out, making sure everybody's safe. And it is a warm day today, so it's expected that not everybody is gonna uh, be capable of lining up and waiting like this. Now, let me see where my spot in line is, shall we? So eventually, at some point, I'm gonna get down to this pontoon and this is the docking station here in the middle and the actual ferries can dock back to back right here and eventually we're going to get on one of them and go for a bit of a ride now this actual station also has a lot of the other ferries that come to this uh, stop, spot <laughs> uh, so you can actually get other types of ferries there's some paid ones there's also some other public ones, but we want to go on the world's first year-round electric ferry. And check this out, we can actually get both of the ferries in the one shot right here. One's actually heading off, and the other one's just about to dock right here. Now, the one thing that's quite noticeable is how uh, small the capacity is. I would say it's about 50 people. That can go on there, maybe give or take a couple, but... And then the actual other one is just pulled in over here, so... They essentially dock forwards, and then you walk off. And meanwhile, one of the Radisson boats heads off in the background there. And we keep lining up. So we saw how long the line is. Now, we don't have long to go to get on board. We can see the ferries right there in front of us. Some of the beautiful buildings of Moscow and everybody lining up behind me here on the Moscow River embankment. Everybody should have been staring at this for a last kind of little while and we're ready to get on board. So these ferries right in front of me here are actually now part of the public ferries that are running here around the river in Moscow center and you can take these Kind of one stop or ten stops you can get on and off as you like and essentially you're just paying uh, public transport prices for them and there's actually lots of people here today helping everybody and uh, trying to get everybody used to taking these public ferries because these weren't really a thing until kind of in the last year or two they've really kind of pushed to bring these as part of the transport network in moscow that will tie in with the buses and the metro lines and the overland trains as well so it gives you a lot of options for public transport in Moscow 
So you can probably see from the sun and how much darker it is. It's quite a lot later now than when I was here in line. I kind of went away and came back. And now, in a group of about 40, we're going to pass through here and get on board. And then walking on up here, we get to go past the regular public ferries. And then you can see now it's near on sunset time. Well, still about two hours away, but the group that I'm with is right here. And you'll see still how many people are still lining up here. I need to go a little bit quicker to catch up. But we can see on the right hand side the world's first year round electric ferry. Yes. Now I'm sure somewhere in the world there is other electric ferries. But this is the first year round one. So this will run in winter. Imagine minus 10, minus 20, and this thing would be still going. And there'd be snow on the ground here. There'd be kind of some uh, sheet ice on the river as well. So it'd be very interesting how they handle in the winter. And check out the view looking back along the Moscow River there. That is Kiev railway station in the background. Kiev Kibaksal. And then here is the entrance. Kievskaya. And this is actually essentially a stop now for the ferries and for the electric ferry that we're just about to get on. And under normal circumstances, actually the gate just closed. We'd have to tap our card here on the uh, card tapping device on either side. And obviously they're free for the next couple of days. So we can just literally pass by and head on inside. And check this out on the ferry. Uh, barge here, <laughs> there's actually a coffee shop. Wow, how cool is that? And you can get espresso, americano, latte, all sorts of different drinks. And we have a barista right here. All right, let's get on board. After a lot of waiting, we can see the captain up there, or we can just see him. And we'll head on through the doors here. They've got sensor touch doors I think that's what they're called and have a look at this hello everybody oh lots of waves <laughs> all right let me come on over and thanks for saving my seat no worries I'll sit with my other friend over here but check it out how cool hello very welcome. No worries. But how cool is this? I think it's cool. Was it worth the wait? Hmm. I'm not sure, but it's pretty spectacular. Hello. Everybody waving. And I was hoping to see the map, but it looks like <laughs> they're having some first day teething problems. That's to be expected. But you can see the sun about to set on that other side and we're going to leave the dock very soon and check out the view from back here this is a pretty cool view actually where all the life jackets are stored as well so that's kind of handy and check out this view Ver yes very nice view and here's one of the other baristas i think he's just taking a little break and enjoying the view as we look back up the moscow river what a difference this ferry is to this ferry over here. It's such a difference. And it even has bathrooms on board. WC. I wonder if you know what WC is. Let me know in the comments if you know what those two words mean, the acronym. I wonder if anybody knows. I imagine red means that they're busy. Probably the green lights would mean they're free. So everybody's relaxed and seated now. But the windows are amazing. You kind of get that full view. All right, so we're pulling away from the dock now. Let's have a look around here. This was where we came from the pontoon right there. And you can see a few people kind of just milling around. I imagine if it wasn't the first day, 
it would be obviously shorter lines, a lot quicker. And the one thing that was fairly obvious coming on this boat was gonna be how quiet it is. And you can't hear that. Okay, even as we're pulling away from the dock, the side thrusters, you can't really hear anything. And actually I'm pretty sure this cabin as well is probably uh, silenced as well. And imagine for winter, these windows are uh, nice and insulated also. So as we make our way up the river, we see another boat going downstream. This is one of the smaller Radisson ones. And as we come up to the Radisson Hotel right here, now the sun is really in the wrong direction, but you can kind of roughly see it. But these windows, they're amazing. And just up here, uh, right in front of us, is the British Embassy. Now, every time I see this building, it just bothers me because you see, beautiful Russian building, the British Embassy, not so beautiful really. And then over on the other side of the river, all the very nice Russian buildings. And it really stands out, like for me, a little bit too much. And as we keep going along, got one of the Russian government buildings here. And it's always amazing how big they are. They just look small on camera, but when you're uh, up close to them, they are huge buildings. And I've got a little bit of VIP uh, status, a little bit. And I can come out the front and check out Moscow City right in front here. It is very cool. And there's only myself out here and one other person. And check out the Radisson Hotel, which is one of the Seven Sisters. You can see the star right on the top there. It's so nice in the late evening like we are now. And I'll step back inside to get another view of the hotel here. It's really very neat, especially when you get the sun setting behind us like it is. You get those sort of really nice colors against the background of all the buildings on the river here. As we see everybody kind of wandering around like I've been doing. And we're actually coming to dock at one of the stations. Now I believe it's about five or six stations that make up the route that we're on now. There is a much shorter line, let me say, compared to the line that I've been going through today. And maybe I should have come to this station first. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this tour so far. I'm gonna film a little bit more as we go to the next few stations. Uh, I've actually not sat down since I got on board. It's just so cool to check out all the different views out the windows and all the different buildings as we're basically sailing along. Now I've decided to take a seat here because my feet are kind of killing from standing up so long. They've got some cup holders right here. And then under the seat, this might be a little bit hard to see, but they've got USB chargers right here where my fingers are, uh, which is really cool because as long as you brought your cable with you, you can charge your phone or device. And that's super handy as we come up now towards Moscow City and these crazy skyscrapers. These things are just mad how big they are. As we pass one of the boats that are anchored here, I think this is actually a restaurant and I think you can stay on board this one if I'm not mistaken. And there's definitely a restaurant on board. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool now as we come up to Moscow City. And of course, we have New Moscow City behind me. And then we have the, well, what can we call it? <laughs> the cranes of Moscow. It's actually when you're in the center of Moscow, especially around the river, there is so much redevelopment going on and so much land that's being reclaimed from factories that are no, no, that are no longer and they're either basically remodeling them or they're bringing them down and building something else there. This is incredibly valuable land. As one of the other boats goes by, of course now with the time of year, this is really boat season. And the amount of boats that you see, even in a half an hour or an hour time frame is really kind of 
kind of crazy. We can just see the captain's cockpit right up there. It's got a nice spot and a nice view. As we look back, we picked up a few passengers at the last stop, so we're almost full. Now I've been given a little bit of extra VIP status and I've been able to come up to the bridge. Now I probably shouldn't talk so loud because the captain here has to really focus and understand the uh, river that he's sailing in here as we pass another boat. This is the Bagatron Bridge that we're passing under here. So this bridge leads you right over to New Moscow City. And you can see he's using the thrusters back and forward, left and right. Pretty sure this is pretty straightforward for most people who'd be up on the bridge, but for me, I'd have too many things to think about. And under the keel, we only have less than two meters. Now, I always knew that the Moscow River wasn't particularly deep, but as we come into the next station here, we are uh, coming into shallow water, obviously by the edge of the river and the main channel would be much deeper. So of course I don't want to talk too loud. The uh, captain is listening to the walkie-talkie and making sure everything is correct as we're basically docking. Well, we're currently docked here. And there's people waiting to get on and off. This is actually City Central Station, which is essentially uh, right here by Moscow City on the right-hand side. Now, the captain doesn't have the big windows like all the passengers have. He's more focused on docking and undocking the craft. So I really want to thank the Moscow Transport Authorities and the people that made this happen for me to get up here to the bridge and to see the uh, boat underway. Now I was just asking the captain what we should call the vessel and we kind of, we're kind of going back and forward but I'll call it a vessel but it's a ship, it's also a boat. So yeah, this is pretty cool to be up on the, on the bridge. Now, if you've never been to Moscow before, this is probably one of the places that you wanna to come to and have a walk around. This is Moscow city. And these buildings here are spectacular when you either walk around them, especially knowing the general architecture of Moscow and Russia, these things are just, on another level how big they are and it's very it's only about three or four kilometers square that all these buildings are on so yeah it's pretty cool view from this boat and i think everybody that's on board is just captivated by the view and especially the fact that we're here later in the afternoon now and you can see the colors of the sky with the sun starting to set and i think everyone's probably tired from waiting in line like we were and have a look on the other side here how green it is it's just i'm i'm happy it's been a long day but it's been a pretty cool day at the same time and the people i met in line as we see a bit more here everybody's literally just taking photos staring out the window and again we can see moscow city there and then some of the uh, residential buildings. These three over here in particular are just massive how big they are. And we can just see uh, Bagatron Bridge in the distance as that orange boat just passes around it right there. There's actually shops in the middle of Bagatron Bridge. It's pretty neat to walk through. And actually, if you walk back over this way, you'll end up back at Kiev railway station. It's about maybe about a 45 minute walk from here back to Kiev Baksal or Kiev railway station. And we're just pulling out of one more of the stations. These are very kind of futuristic looking, no matter when we got on or at the different ones as we're docking at each of the different stops. And you'll see a few people here. Now, pretty much, I'd say the boat is at capacity. So basically everybody that would be seated and then however many can be standing, puts the boat at capacity. 
So as the boat goes to and from each of the stations, people obviously can get on and off, but they're uh, limiting the uh, capacity of the boat, which is absolutely fair enough. All right, as we pass another one of the kind of modern buildings and then one of the more classic Soviet style buildings right here. Have a look at that contrast. And another look back at Moscow City. It isn't really that big of a place. And the amount of buildings they've kind of, let's say, squashed together is very, very neat. And how close they are. It's really just like a group of buildings on this peninsula here. As we pass under another bridge. There's even a couple of guys fishing over here. Can you see? They've got their fishing rods and their gear. I'm not sure what they're trying to catch, but a bit of fishing on a uh, late afternoon. Why not? It's really interesting to see all of the construction going on right here on the side of the river and what's called the embankment, basically. Everywhere around Moscow, you call it the embankment and the big pile drivers right here that are uh, setting up the edge of the river. And I imagine something else will get built right here. But uh, it's amazing to see how much new construction's going on. You know, this is incredibly valuable land. Even on the other side there, there's a construction site. And then some older buildings here on the right. So I'm really not the best of tour guides to know the different regions where we are here in Moscow. Um, of course, I recognize Moscow City. I think you kind of don't stop seeing it anywhere you are on the river. And you can see again some of these old and new buildings that just sort of pop up everywhere on the horizon. And this sort of classic Khrushchevka here, which is the five level uh, panel building. I think this one's actually made out of brick, but a lot of them are made out of the concrete panels. And they were hugely popular throughout all of Russia, the Khrushchevkas. And um, imagine right on the river how valuable this place would be. Now, I'm a little bit worried how long this video will go, but I think most people watching it probably are enjoying the scenery and how contrasting it is. Again, we can see here where the embankment kind of finishes and the kids are running there right by the edge of the river. And have a look at these new modern apartment buildings right in front of us here. This is pretty cool. Actually, look at the sun setting off in the distance. If we didn't have the reflection off the glass, this would be even more stunning. So it looks like we're getting off at this station. So off we go at the heart of the capital station. I was trying to translate it, but uh, yeah. Let's have a walk through here and see where we are. This is another, basically all of these pontoon stations are all replicated. And another coffee shop right here. That's kind of cool as we walk on out and figure out where we are here uh, getting off at this station. It's pretty cool though, let me say. We can actually see the boat right there. And that was the boat that we were just on. We're right on the upper level here of the embankment. And have a look at the view. This late evening in Moscow, as the sun is still hasn't set. But that kind of contrast against all the buildings here. And all these apartments that are almost surrounding us. They're all over here. And look at the color of the sky just ahead there. How beautiful is this? This is very nice. So as I walk off the boat now, I'm gonna call it a boat. I'm actually gonna look <laughs> for where we got off and have a look for the nearest metro station to try to head on home. So I'll take you along for a little bit and uh, see if we can find this metro station. So I think I'm almost at the metro to find my way home. As we see some of the buildings of Moscow City again ahead of us and some of these very big apartment blocks as well. These things are huge against the kind of more classic sized ones on the right hand side here. And have a look at all the scooters which we see everywhere in Moscow. Scooters, scooters, scooters. 
So let me find the entrance to the metro and we'll go for a little ride. Now I was gonna walk through a couple of the stations with my camera, but I decided just to get on the metro. Uh, I'm about four stops from where I need to change metros to another metro to eventually get me home. So I think I might slowly end the video here as I just walk through the carriage here. This is one of the new modern ones. They've got the uh, map right here, what the next stations are. We can even see how many minutes it is between the stations and the connecting metros as well. Mine's not even showing up because we've got quite a lot of stations to cover. So I hope this was a fun metro ride, even though it was very short. Okay, everybody, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope it's not too long. I think it might be. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it was a long time in line. Uh, was, as people go past, was the electric ferry cool? Yes, it was. As the ladies let us know, the doors are closing and we're going to head to the next stop. Uh, was the wait in line worth it? Uh, probably not. Uh, the people I met in line, amazing. I think I've met some new subscribers. So I hope they'll say hello in the comments. And I hope you had a good time and a good laugh today. I think we've had a good time. Uh, it got a little bit stressful waiting so long. But yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. It's okay. Thumbs up, thumbs down. What did you think of the electric ferry or electric boat? This is the first one in the world that'll be year round. Uh, there's no other electric ferry doing that anywhere else in the whole world. So right here in Moscow. Post a comment, let me know what you think. Some of the things I pointed out on the video. And there's another video for you to watch after this. I'm very tired and I'm not gonna do a second take. Uh, you can watch another video. You can actually watch the one of me taking some of the uh, big circle line here in Moscow on the Metro. You can watch that right after this one if you like. And I'm not off on another adventure. I'm heading home. I'm hungry. I'm tired. <laughs> but it's been a good day though. So bye everybody.